Now we wanted to move on to think about what are the mindsets that we see as being really important for scale. Um, so we see mindset shifts as super important and something that if anyone's come across Bring Impact before, I'm sure you will have heard us talking about these mindset shifts. But this is really based on our 10 years of experience of working with organisations and seeing what it really takes to have impact at scale. Um, so we're going to talk through some of these mindsets today. We're acknowledging that shifting mindsets is not something that comes naturally and is something that, that can be really difficult. And it often requires a really kind of conscious effort, really reminding yourself and challenging yourself to think differently. Um, so we'd love to talk through some of those mindset shifts today. And if it's something you can take away and think about how that applies to your work, about how you're thinking about scale and impact. Um, then I think that would be that in itself would be a really valuable thing to get from this session. So on to the mindsets for scale. So we've got six mindsets here and I'll walk through each of them. And for some of them, I'll, I'll link that back to what that meant for CHDC. So the first mindset that we think is really important is that impact comes first. So perhaps I used to think scale is about growth and now I think scale is about impact. Um, we've already talked about that one, really important. I said, great to see that the word impact is what was coming kind of front and center of that word cloud. Um, so hopefully that doesn't require a huge mindset shift um, for people. The second one is problem over solution. So you might used to think, how can we scale up our solution? But changing that to think about how can we solve problems at scale? So this is what I think is probably the most important mindset shift. Um, we talk a lot at Spring Impact about falling in love with solving a problem rather than falling in love with scaling your solution. Um, and this is so important for, for so many reasons. As I'm sure we all know, we're living in an ever-changing world. The problems that you're trying to solve will likely change or the problems might look slightly different in different contexts, different geographies. Um, so it's really important that your solution really kind of keeps up with that and is, is able to adapt to how the problem is changing. So really it's the, the notion of kind of holding your solution and your idea lightly, not tightly, and being willing and able to test, adapt, learn, and stay really responsive to what the problem demands. Um, so for CHDC, actually, this was quite an important mindset shift. They kind of shifted from thinking, we've got this 16 session program that works really well. How can we deliver this to more parents? To thinking about, okay, what else needs to be in place to address the problem of violent parenting in Uganda at scale? Um, and that mindset shift was really fundamental for CHDC and has helped them to identify kind of all of these other supportive activities that they need to be doing to have the best chance of addressing the problem at scale beyond just implementing more of their solution, uh, which we'll be able to get into a little bit more today. And the next one is collaboration by default. So I used to think, how can we maximize our own achievement? But now thinking, what roles do we play and what roles do others play in service of that problem? So we really, to, to be crude about it, this could be seen as letting go of ego, um, dropping that thing that says that, that you'll do everything and you've got all of the answers, and instead really learning how others in the space are contributing to tackling this problem. So that mindset of really working with, not against others in the space. Um, we often see, we see that it's, it's really difficult to solve problems at scale alone um, and it's really crucial, fundamental um, that you're, you're willing and, and aware of how you kind of sit in that ecosystem and where there's opportunities to work with others. The next mindset we call lean learning. So perhaps you used to think or you now think we'll make a detailed plan and we'll stick to it and instead shifting to being able to test and adapt really quickly to reduce risk. So again, this is about staying responsive and ensuring that your approach, your solution is creating impact and value. And really that kind of harsh acceptance, so that real acceptance, that iteration of your solution, your approach to scaling uh, will be continuous. So really in, with the impact lens, that constant questioning of has the problem evolved? Is your approach, is your, is your solution still generating impact over time? and that lens that I'm sure all of you are really familiar from a human-centred design perspective um, around value. So do the stakeholders actually want what you're offering? Do they really value it? Will they actually attend or use the services? I, a bit later, I'm going to talk about those different lenses for CHDC, but again, this was a really important mindset shift for CHDC. Um, they are a research institute 
and they really wanted to do loads and loads of research into what's the most impactful version of their solution before scaling it up. So they did a number of RCTs, they'd been creating this solution for, for many years before wanting to really take it out to scale. But actually with this mindset shift, they realized that they, they need to start scaling, they need to start getting out there and impacting more people with their solution um, because the problem so urgently needs addressing and that they need to continually learn and iterate on the program as it's being delivered across Uganda. So this is a really big mindset shift for CHDC, an organization that's very comfortable with, with holding on to something, doing lots of testing, learning, making sure it's impactful before then taking it out to be, to be kind of tested with others. Um, so really that mindset shift of we're never going to get all of the answers while just doing this testing before we're really taking it out to scale. So instead that mindset shift of we can be delivering this to more people, more people can be benefiting whilst we'll continue to test, learn and refine our offering. The penultimate mindset that we think is really important is about being ruthlessly strategic. So a mindset which I would bet a lot of you have is we want to do everything that we can to be impactful. But it's really that shift to think that we're willing to make difficult choices given limited resources. So we know, we don't need to tell you that the scale of social problems is, is to be honest, intimidating and that resources are unfortunately sparse. Um, so it's really important that we're really strategic when we scale to maximise the use of the, the precious resources that we have. Um, this can be really difficult, I think, in our sector because of the trade-offs that you'll have to make that have a very real impact on people's lives. Um, but it's super important to really be able to kind of target the impact you're having. For example, organisations thinking about scale will often need to trim their interventions to make them scalable. They might focus more narrowly on only some parts of the intervention that create the most impact. Um, or it could mean that your intervention is perhaps less generous. Perhaps you need to make a course shorter or have less kind of one-to-one -one time with your constituents. Um, and it also might mean that you can't be fully inclusive and really perhaps you have a better chance of really achieving impact at scale if you focus on a subset of your target audience rather than everyone. But these are the trade-offs that make being ruthlessly strategic really difficult. Um, but we see it's really, really essential to maximise the use of the precious resources that we have in the pursuit of impact at scale. And the last one I wanted to talk through was long-term commitment. So I used to think we want to achieve results for this year, but now I'm thinking we're investing in long lasting impact. So scaling really is a long term commitment. Um, we've worked with many organisations through their journey to scale and it is always a journey of ups, downs, challenges. But it's really important that organisations commit the resources, invest in the people and really fund that whole journey to create that long term impact. We don't need to tell you how hard it can be to get that long term flexible funding. I know we all talk about it um, and it's a really difficult thing to get, but it's something that, that we think is really essential for having impact at scale. Just knowing kind of the, the length of the journey to get there and, and what's really required to do all of the thinking behind creating impact at scale.